holiday of Passover begins in just a few hours, but with the recent spike in COVID-19 cases, families are quickly making last-minute changes to their Seder gatherings is the traditional meal. Eyewitness News South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner is in Camden to explain how this is affecting families that are hoping to gather in person. Brandon. Well, Natasha, a lot of families in South Jersey were expecting this to be a step towards normalcy. But as they're preparing for their Seder meals, which takes a lot of prep time, they're also taking on the role as contact tracers. For Ellen Feist's family, the first night of Passover represents her and her husband's sides of the family gathering around one Seder table to share in each other's traditions. Figuring out what we're going to do and how we're going to move forward and also trying to cook and set the table and, and prepare everything. She hoped this year's Seder would be the same as before the pandemic. But then she found out a few hours ago her family was exposed to COVID-19 last week. It's been a busy morning making phone calls, figuring out what we're going to do and how we're going to move forward and also trying to cook and set the table and, and prepare everything. Since they've had no symptoms and it's been more than five days since their exposure, the Feists are following through on their Seder. Senior Rabbi Micah Peltz of Cherry Hills Temple Beth Shalom says many families are staring down similar choices. As uh, cases have spiked in our area, I know that there are more families, mine included, that are wondering about doing seders outside or maybe changing some plans again. No matter what each family decides, Rabbi Pelt says Passover's story of the enslaved Israelites leaving Egypt needs to be retold every year. Having stories, values being connected to a people really can help root us and help us understand what's important, what our values are, and help guide us through this complicated world. Vice says those values will guide her family during their Seder. Passover is about, is about freedom from slavery, and so it's nice to, in a way, celebrate the freedom of being able to not be quarantined completely and, and be together. Even beyond Passover, Rabbi Pelt says that they are going to be requiring masks inside the sanctuary beyond, uh, beyond Passover. Siakam. All right, thank you so much, uh, Brandon. Much better situation this year than the last two years. Appreciate it. At the cathedral.